take a look at the draw. Big task for Nadavi Ikanivera and Donge up against arguably the best scrum in the competition. Bode Bode and Ratui Solia offer mobility, but I understand the need to dominate physically tonight at lock. Wanga and Salawa and Captain Derinalangi, your offloading skills will surely keep the Blues on their toes. Frank Nomani, well, he poses a significant threat, particularly around the edges. Armstrong Ravula outside him. Valetini and Masi Pure up in the midfield. Masi, he's such a danger on attack, leading the competition with the most defenders beaten. And speaking of that danger, Ravul Dalmanda, Nalanga and Doa Sese offer plenty of that on counter-attack too. And on the bench, a 6-2 split for the Doa. Matawalu and Caleb Muntz, the only backs options. Well, after some disruptions last week against the Chiefs, the Blues are closer to full strength for this match here. No change to their front row for this match tonight. Marcel Renata, Ricky Riccatelli and Opa Tuunga Fasi in the front row. Sam Derry out with concussion, so rookie Josh Berry gets his first taste of playoff action against uh, or alongside Skip Patrick Tui Pulotu. No change here. Papali'i, Sotutu and Ioane, a mix of creative and destructive in the Lucys. Second straight week sees Finlay Christie and Harry Plummer in the 9-10 axis. Rico Ioani restored to the side, so AJ Lamb moves into the 12 jersey and to complete the lineup, one of the best back threes in the competition, Telia, Clark, and Pedalfetta. Late change on the Blues bench. Cameron Suafoa scratched with a calf injury. James Thompson comes in in his place. Well, sideline for this one tonight, Taylor Johnson. Tēnā koutou was forecasted for clear skies this evening, but for the past two hours, there has been a light drizzle, and the Drua are hoping to rain on the Blues parade in their first ever trip to Eden Park. Slight breeze from left to right, favouring the Blues, who are kicking off in that direction, Tony. Well, it's been a great effort by the Drua to make the quarter-final second year running, and some of the rugby they've played is the sort that only Fijians can play. The biggest challenge has been to replicate their incredible home form, especially that on Churchill Park, onto the road, and that has eluded them completely. The only win in New Zealand last year came against Moana Pacifica. They haven't won on the road this year in New Zealand, so they have to turn things on their head tonight if they had to cause a big upset. Round one clash was played in Whangarei, so this their first ever outing on Eden Park. Fifteen of tonight's 23 were named this week in Mick Burns' first Fiji squad for the year. And amongst them, one of the classiest players in Super Rugby, Josefo Masi, an Olympic gold medalist in Tokyo three years ago. Lead Super Rugby for defenders, beaten, prominent in all the other attacking metrics, and an above-average defender. He's a player to watch out for, Josefo Masi. Drizzle starting to fall again as the Blues prepare to come out. They won last week, although their reaction was that of a team that had lost after they conceded a late try and a bonus point to miss out on top spot on the table. They'll have to put that behind them now. They know if they drop their guard, drop their standards, it could make for a difficult night. Final three of Super Rugby Pacific 2024 kicks off at Eden Park and it kicks off with a mistake by Stephen Pedalfetta. This time they don't challenge. Beery takes it down. They drive towards the line. It's gone to ground. Brought down by the Blues is the call. Now the referee can see Dalton Pumperley. He's had a lunge at the line here. I totally lost the ball there. He may have scored. Yeah, I've totally lost the ball. I thought the ball was at the back. Brett. Yeah, go ahead, Nick. OK, I'm coming to you on this. I've totally lost sight of the ball. Um, so on-field decisions, no try. Can we please just check to see that Blue's got that down or not? OK, so we've got an on-field no try. No um, try. And we're was, checking yeah. for potential grounding. Yeah, we're play it from the start because yeah, I want sure. to see how that ball went down as well. Well, the Blue's... Might be trying okay, to so bluff, but they are there. going back to halfway. They're okay, confident. So Blue, Here's Blue, Papa Lee through the middle. And then everyone's gone down on top of him. Oh, OK, seven. I think that's a try. So, Nick, he yeah. comes from a legal position and grounds the ball. You need to overturn your on-field decision and award a try. OK, it's a try, Melly. Yeah, and you don't blame him either. 
for missing that because we all did. 76 points coming into this game. Converts the opening try and the Blues lead 7-0 at Eden Park. Charging it back from halfway, almost up to the 22. Ioane. Carrying inside the 22. Flat ball away to Ongafasi. And the Blues again look to get into that attacking rhythm that we've seen so often this season. Plummer, kick out to the wing. Clark! Oh, couldn't quite take it. Ball bubbles up as grabbed by Rico Ioane. Referee is saying to play on. Christie! Finley Christie! Yeah, we'll, we'll check it, guys. We'll check we it. will have to check uh, this. That up the background. Yeah, the initial. Yeah, we're checking it. The initial one I've got from Blue 11 was backwards, and then I had it backwards off White 14. As the kick from Harry Plummer, he slips, but it doesn't stop him from landing the kick. Landed himself on his own backside, cannoning into the tackle of Lomani. Offside. Referee playing another advantage. They just keep creeping up offside the Drua. Two conversions. 80 for the season. 83 with this. So Harry Plummer tacks on three. Thompson comes forward and takes it nicely. Snipe. And a pass from Christie to Papali. He makes a strong run down towards the five. Sotutu. Trying to spin away from the tackle of Dongi. Got him around the ankles. Charging through the middle came Salawa. Penalty taken quickly. Sotutu! Just short of the line. Christie sees Thompson away to his left. He's short too. They have another dig. Again, oh, the short. Papali is there. From the back. From the back. Now Christie sends it away to Plummer. Floats a wide pass. Clark into the corner. They had to come. Yeah, that... It'll be oh, a ball turnover. Really a ball held up. It's not coming out of there. That's no time. time for the scrum. Half time at Eden Park. Dominant first 40 from the Blues, and they lead at the break in quarter final number three by 22 to nil. Second half about to start. Sire Armstrong Ravula sends it down into the 22, and Hoskins Satutu wheels away from the oncoming Ravi Tomonda. Lomani. Ikaniveri, Armstrong Ravula. Into centre field, getting Ilangi. Not held in the tackle, got up and went again. Armstrong Ravula, who's it on? Valentini, he goes in upright. Lamb puts him on the ground. So they've gone 11 phases, but they haven't gone far. Armstrong Ravula, try to get some width on a Ravu Tamunda, and now he breaks the danger man for the first time in the game. He's electrifying and he scores. What a great start to the second half for the Fiji and Drua. Super start from the Drua. Just when you thought they were going backwards, the Blues seem nice and connected. Caleb Muntz was injured early on in the piece. He's done a good job. Can he land another penalty here? Well, it's close, but to get the basics done right. You do that and you go from there. But also, Taylor, they've absorbed a lot of pressure, and you haven't seen that before in terms of the Blues. They absorb pressure, but they're still content to just to stick to their guns, and that's where they've been very, very good at as well. Oh, absolutely. They absorb it, and then they use it to motivate themselves, don't they? You can't tell that they've just spent long periods of time on defence, because even in their transition, they're just so onto it. They know their shapes. Oh, uh, Thompson. Continues his good work. Kurt Eklund now has the ball in the back. They're heading forwards too here, the Blues. Trying to wrap them up, but they're swarming towards the goal line. They're over the goal line, and Nick Berry says that's a try. 
Kurt Eklund. Just one miss so far tonight for Harry Plummer. Makes no mistake. A little succession of injuries to their locks has given them the chance. And now they'll go to a line-out. You're coming in, please. 12 metres. Maybe a little more from the corner flag. And Thompson again goes up. Now here's Eklund flying away. Lovely ball on the inside, and Clark is through. Worked to perfection by the Blues, and Caleb Clark scores. Beautifully executed from the Blues. Set piece was strong. Eklund was a short little dummy. More, but as he popped out, he just got plenty of width on that, that he was chased by that end man. And as he was chased by that end, end man off the, the line out, here he is. This is a beautiful shot of it here. Inside four opens up. Caleb Clark he puts on the afterburners and explodes right through. What an excellent try. Oh, set piece, strike move, time to perfection. And the Drua are actually the worst defenders at set piece when it comes to first first base strike moves. And it's shown right there. They just didn't have an answer for it. No one was marking that space. It opened up. But that was the work of the other Blues attackers, just manipulating that space and allowing it to open up for him. Try is converted. That's fine. He's won and that before he's gone to the Denies the Drua a chance at the last say. Funaki puts it dead. Blues into the semi-final. Season comes to an end for the Drua.